Yes, hello TI Inspire users. You guys are the lucky ones because uh, TI Inspire will help you to solve complex number and complex analysis problems step by step. In particular, this app, Complex Analysis, on tiinspireapps.com will be valuable if you take a class that involves complex numbers or complex analysis uh, functions. So let's go through this app. It's uh, very loaded. Um, it's broken up into eight sections. You can see here we have algebra complex numbers, functions, poles, residues, quadratic functions, derivatives, integrals, transforms, differential equations, and vectors. And I will go each section briefly. So let's start off with uh, the first section. You can see we can analyze complex numbers, one or two, uh, De Moivre theorem, roots of unity, remainder theorem, fra partial fractions, etc. Let's analyze a complex number such as, say, uh, 2 plus i. Everybody knows the real part is 2, the imaginary part is just i. The complex conjugate of 2 plus i is obviously 2 minus i. And the length of the 2 plus i. Uh, complex number is root 5 which is computed here using Pythagorean theorem and the angle is arctangent of one half and if you like to have decimal answers just turn the input uh, decimal make a decimal input so you can see the root 5 is 2.236 and the angle in radian is 0.4636 Okay, so very handy. Never have to enter, uh, hit enter. As you change uh, the input, the output changes immediately. So very convenient. Okay, let's look at further functionality. Let's find some poles. Okay, let's say we alter the pre given function and uh, analyze a function with let's say two different poles at 3 and at 1 so in pretty print first of all you have the function rewritten here uh, in pretty format the pole uh, there's a pole at z equals 1 and it's of course off order 1 and that residue is 11 over 4 because if we, mul if we multiply the original function by z minus 1, so the z minus 1's cancel, and we plug in 1 for the remaining z, we end up with 11 over 4. And then we have, of course, a pole of order 3 at z equals 3, and <coughs> that residue turns out to be 11 over 2, and the sum of the residues is 33 over 4. Now that is a very handy part of the app because finding poles and residues uh, shows up all the time. Quadratic functions. Well, we learned that already in Algebra 2. We just enter a quadratic equation and we can see that our answer is going to be 3 plus i and 3 minus i works like a charm. Next. We can also, of course, find the discriminant, complete squares, step by step. Let's do some derivatives. How about cauchy riemann conditions? So we can either enter a complex valued function in this format, u plus iv, or in the format um, in terms of z. So we have to decide what we do. Let's say we're going to do the bottom version. So we have to clear the top box. So here our u is x squared minus y squared and the v is 2xy right here. So then we're going to take the partial derivatives and we are now in a position to check if ux is vy and uy is negative vx and in this case it is. So our given function here is analytic and of course since you're knowledgeable about complex functions uh, this here is the same as the function, the analytic function, or the complex function z squared. Because if you 
do z squared out, rewrite it in the form of x plus i we i y, you're gonna get uh, this uh, complex valued function in terms of i. Okay, and you will get the same conclusion, of course. So this is also very handy when you study complex valued functions. Moving right along. <clears throat> So we, of course, can find uh, check if a function is harmonic. We find the harmonic conjugate function using this app. We find derivatives and evaluate derivatives. You can do step-by-step -step differentiation. Find the Lorentz series at given poles and curl divergence gradient. I, I recommend to use the trial version also if you want to play around some more with the functionalities. Uh, in terms of integrals, we of course can find complex valued uh, integrals or indefinite or definite contour integrals. We can do step by step integration. Uh, transforms, Laplace transforms, um, also to solve first and second, I mean, sorry, second and third order differential equations can be solved using Laplace transforms. Uh, table of Laplace transforms are included, Fourier transform, and also a table of Z transforms. So the Laplace transform, Fourier transforms can be um, performed. So let's say we want to find the Laplace transform of sine of t, and plugging in sine of t into the Laplace integral and solving it gives us 1 over s squared plus 1. And again, if I change it here slightly, my answer will immediately change as well. 3 over s squared plus 9. Similarly for the Fourier transforms. Differential equations, we have here the first order and second order differential equations can be solved homogeneous, non-homogeneous. Euler method as a numerical method is included as well. Newton's law of cooling. So you can see it's a very comprehensive app. Lastly, vectors. You can analyze vectors, uh, find angles, cross, cross, cross products, divergence, curl, line integrals. I mean, the sky's the limit. Green theorem, surface integrals can be uh, computed here. So as you can see, this is.